Welcome to April's LeetCode Challenge. Today's problem is letter combinations of a phone number. Given a string containing digits 2 through 9 inclusive, return all possible letter combinations that the number could represent. Return the answer in any order. So if you know with these phones, we have each digit representing a couple characters, anywhere from 3 to 4 of them. And we want to return all possible combinations of the letters that we can form with these digits. For 2, 3, we can have a to D, A, E, A, F, and then B, D, B, E, B, F, so on and so forth. All right, so to do this, uh, you can certainly think of a recursive solution, uh, but I think we can do this iteratively. What we're going to do is create a mapper that's going to represent the digit with all the characters representing, uh, and then we're going to iteratively build upon an array. Uh, for, for the beginning, we can start with two. We're going to build an array with A, B, and C. And then with the next digit, we're going to build upon that ABC for A. We're going to have AD, AE, AF, and then BA, B, B, E, B, F, so on and so forth. And just continue that iteratively. Um, so yeah, let's first create our lookup dictionary. And that's just going to be, let's see, uh, one through ABC. And let's create a couple more. We need this. I forgot, there's no one, it's from two all the way through nine. So let me take care of this first. So let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, what's five? Five is J, K, L, M, N, O, J, K, L. M and O, and some of these have four. So M and O, uh, P, Q, R, S, Q, V, and W, X, Y, Z. Right, so now, first things first, if there's no digits, we just return an empty list. Otherwise, we're gonna create some sort of temp variable. I'll start with the output. And this I have to start with a blank string here because of the very first digit. So what we'll do is say 4D in digits and for um, say value in lookup digits. So this is gonna be like A, B, C, D, e, F. What we'll have to do is have some sort of temp array because we're gonna build upon what we had in our output, right? So what we'll do is for O in output we are going to append to our temporary, I guess just gonna be the O plus the value that we have. And that's gonna build up, but at the very end, we need to make sure to update our output with our temp list. Finally, we can just return our output at the very end. And let's see if this works. Looks like that's working, so let's submit that. And there we go, accepted. Time complexity wise, it's actually pretty expensive. I believe worst case scenario, it's gonna be four to the nth power. Um, but luckily because there's only nine digits, it's still pretty fast. Uh, I certainly did see some solutions using iter tools like the product function, which um, could definitely work. But I think that's a little bit cheating, especially if you don't really know what's going on in the back end. And plus you don't really need it. It's, it's pretty much just as fast doing it this way. So, um, yeah. Okay. I think we'll end it here. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.